The first step is to begin the application by logging in. Let us see what we can learn in the Analyze section. First of all, you have to move from Track section to Analyze section. We will now go to the Fleet Reports. In the Fleet Report, we can see seven types of reports, which is 24-hour Fleet Report, Vehicle Day-wise Tracker, Monthly Report, Fuel Consumption, Vehicle Usage, Driving Behavior, and Idling Duration versus Fuel Loss. Let's learn about the 24-hour fleet report. In this section, we can set the date for which we want to see the report for the last 24 hours. After that, the customer can track the registration number, VIN, start location, harsh acceleration, harsh braking, rash turning, idling duration, coasting duration, stoppage duration, fuel consumed, distance, fuel efficiency, and end location within the last 24-hour report. Let's learn about the Vehicle Daywise Tracker. In this section, first of all, we need to select the VIN number or registration number, then select the chassis, and after that, if you have maintained the branches, you can select the particular branch, otherwise, you may click on All. Then you need to set the frequency that you want to see, which can be 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes or 60 minutes. Let's go with a 30-minute interval. After that, you have to select the date on which you want to track the vehicle. Here we can track the particular chassis that we selected. And now we can see the 30-minute frequency intervals for odometer, speed, ignition, fuel, address and reported time. You can see a difference of 30 minutes in the reported time for the day that you have chosen. Let's learn about the monthly report. In this section, first of all, we need to select the VIN number or registration number, then select the chassis. After that, if you have maintained the branches, you can select the particular branch, otherwise you may click on All. Next. You have to select the month for which you want to see the report and click Apply. Here, you can see the selected month's information for that particular vehicle in ascending order. Like the 1st of January, the particular chassis number, instances of harsh acceleration, harsh braking, rash turning, idling duration, coasting duration, stoppage duration, fuel consumed, distance, fuel efficiency and end location. Let's learn about fuel consumption. In this section, you can see information about the fuel efficiency for the particular time period you have selected. You can even select the shortest period of time like one hour or you can select an entire month of data. Once you select a time period or month and click apply, you will see the total fuel consumed, distance traveled, and fuel efficiency for your entire fleet in the following form. You can see the branch-wise data if the branch is selected. Let's learn about vehicle usage. In this section, you can see the current odometer reading and when the vehicle was used last. For example, here you can see the vehicle is unused since 14th December. Let's learn about the driver behavior report. In this section, you can see the total harsh acceleration, harsh braking, rash turning, idling duration, coasting duration and stoppage duration for the selected time. Let's learn about idling duration versus fuel loss. In this section, you can see the details of the total idle time and fuel loss caused by it for that particular chassis and the time period you have selected. This report is also available for download in Excel and PDF formats. Similarly, all other reports in Fleet Report column can also be downloaded in the same way. Let's learn about Fleet Trends. There are seven types of trends in the Fleet Trends section. Fuel versus Odometer Trends, Fuel Trends, Speed Trends, Odometer Trends, 
ignition trends, charging history trends, and idling duration versus fuel loss. Let's learn about fuel versus odometer trends. First of all, you have to select VIN number or registration number, then select the chassis number. After that, if you have maintained the branches, then you can select the particular branch. Otherwise, you may click upon All. You have the option of selecting 1 day, 3 days, 7 days or any tenure. Once you select tenure and click on Apply, a fuel versus odometer graph will appear. The data points shown below graph are averaged for 10 minutes. You can see that here the fuel is gradually decreasing, whereas here it has suddenly increased, which indicates that refueling was done here. Let's learn about speed trends. First, select the VIN number or registration number followed by the chassis number. After that, if you have maintained the branches, you can select the particular branch. Otherwise, you may click on All. You can select a maximum tenure of 7 days in this section. Once you select tenure, you can see the fuel versus time graph. You can see that here, the fuel is gradually decreasing, whereas here, it is increased suddenly, which indicates that refueling was done here. Let's learn about speed trends. Speed trends displays how the speed of a specific vehicle changes over time. In the odometer trend, you can see the graph of odometer versus time. In this section, you can see how your vehicle's odometer is increasing gradually. In the ignition trend, you can see the status of when your vehicle was on or off. In idling duration versus fuel loss, you can see the details of the total idle minutes and the fuel loss caused by them for that particular chassis and the time period you have selected in graphical form. Let's learn about the Fleet Insights. In this section, you can find the monthly Fleet Insights. Furthermore, Trip Analysis displays compiled instances of driver behaviours such as harsh acceleration, harsh braking, rash turning, idling, coasting and stoppage. In Vehicle Fleet Details, you can see how many vehicles are connected to the fleet how many are not connected to the fleet and how many are attached. If you have entered a list of drivers in the driver master, you can see it here. You can also see how many of those listed drivers are on a trip, how many are available and how many are on leave. 